All pH meters and probes drift and should therefore be calibrated prior to any series of readings. Fortunately, pH calibration is a simple process that uses standard pH buffer solutions. All you need do is bracket the pH point you expect to measure by calibrating to buffer solutions above and below that point. For example, if you expect a reading of about pH 6, you would first calibrate the meter to pH 7 and then to pH 4. Some meters require you adjust a potentiometer to do this, which is known as manual calibration. More advanced meters, like this one, recognize and calibrate to the buffer solution automatically with the push of a button. This is known as automatic buffer recognition. In this video, we'll demonstrate pH calibration using both manual and automatic meters. So let's begin with a manual calibration pH meter. First thing I do is put the BNC connector on the meter, turn the meter on, and put the probe in our standard solution of pH 7. And as you see, the meter is reading close, but not exactly 7. And to make it read 7, all I need to do is adjust this screw until it reads exactly 7. And now I've calibrated this meter to pH 7. Next, I take the probe out, shake it off, rinse it in distilled water so that I don't pollute the next buffer. Shake it off and put it in a standard buffer solution of pH 4. And now there is a second screw here labeled accordingly and I just turn that screw until it reads pH 4. Okay, I've now done a two-point calibration. I've calibrated to pH 4 and 7. And this meter is calibrated. Um, this ensures that the meter will read within its specifications and especially accurate between those two points. We could also have calibrated to a single point, but this wouldn't be as accurate. We'll next calibrate a meter that uses automatic buffer recognition. Now, in this case, the meter uses not 7, but pH 6.86. Each meter may be a little bit different. So this is a buffer solution that should read 6.86. We let it stabilize. And as you see, it's, well, it's very close, but not quite there. All we have to do is hold the calibration button down for two seconds. The meter recognizes the buffer solution as 6.86 and calibrates itself to the solution. We'll just have to exit and we're now in normal mode and we can take a measurement. If this was a two-point calibration, we would simply repeat the process in pH 4. The exact menu sequence and buttons you'll need to push will vary from meter to meter, but the principles I've just described of pH calibration will remain true.